first question let a number of three digit have for its middle digit the sum of other two digits then it is a multiple of before going into that we know that there is an the divisibility rule of 11 is z if the numbers are x y z then y is equals to x plus z so since in the given question a three digit number and the middle digit is equal to the sum of other two digits so it is satisfies the divisibility rule of 11 so simply option b is our correct answer so the given number should be a multiple of 11 let us see the next question a six digit number 5a b b 7a is a multiple of 33 for a non zero digit a and b which of the following could be a possible value of a plus b so here they have given it is a multiple of 33 so this 33 can be written as 3 into 11 so 3 and 11 are coprints that means the number given number 5 a b b 7 a should definitely divisible by 11 and it should also definitely divisible by 3 first let us take it is divisible by 11 so what is the divisibility of 11 the difference between the sum of alternate digits should be equal to 0 or 11 so here a plus b plus a minus 7 plus b plus 5 should be either equal to 0 or it should be equal to 11 first let us take it is equal to 0 so we will get here 2a plus b minus 7 minus b minus 5 is equal to 0 so this can be written as 2a minus 12 is equal to 0 a is equal to 12 by 2 that is equal to 6 now if we equate this whole equation to 11 we will get the equation in the form of p by q it is not the exact value so remove that value because a cannot be a rational number and b also cannot be a rational number it should be a natural number or whole number so a is equal to 6 is our correct answer now let us find the value of b now we have found out it is divisible by 11 now we will take the condition where it is divisible by 3 so 5a b b 7a to be divisible by 3 the sum of all the digits should be divisible by 3 so we will get 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 plus a plus a equal to 2a plus 2b should be divisible by 3 that is 12 plus a value is equal to 6 so 6 into 2 12 24 plus 2b should be divisible by 3 if a is equal to 6 check the options a plus b should be already a is equals to 6 so if we consider option a here b value should be equals to 2 so if you substitute 2 it will become 26 which is not divisible by 3 so let us take b is equals to 9 so it will become 15 but if we substitute b is equals to 9 we will get here 24 plus 18 see the second option for the sum to be equals to 9 we should get b value as 3 so if we substitute b value of 3 24 plus 6 it is divisible by 3 so option b is our correct answer a plus b is equal to 9 see the next question the difference of a number consisting two digits and the number formed by interchanging the digits is always divisible by so let the two digit number be so first the two digit number be in the tens place let the number be 10x plus and the ones place let the digit be y so the number is 10x plus y now they have also told the number formed by interchanging the digits so in tens place take the number as y so it will become 10y plus and the number in units place is x so these are the two numbers and the difference between the numbers is always divisible by so let us subtract these two numbers we will get 10x plus y multiply minus inside we will get 10 minus 10y minus x so total 9x minus 9y if we take 9 as common we will get x minus y that means always this number is a multiple of 9 so definitely this number will be always divisible by 9 so option c is our correct answer see the next question if all the numbers from 501 to 700 are written what is the total number of times the digit 6 appears so let from 501 to 599 the total number of 6 occurs is 20 times that is here from 561 to again 569 it the 6 will occur 11 times why because here we are adding 6 as 2 times and the remaining we will get the 6 in 9 times so total 20 times 
and again from 600 to 699 we will get total 120 digits that is each set of 10 numbers you will get 106 and again from 661 to 669 you will be getting again 20 numbers so total 126 digits will be there so total number of times 6 occurs are 20 plus 120 that is equals to 140 so option c is our correct answer see the next question in doing a question of division with zero remainder a candidate took 12 as divisor instead of 21 the question obtained by him was 35 the correct question is so let a number can be written as divisor that is the number is nothing but dividend you can write it as dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder so he took the divisor as 12 instead of 21 so 12 into he up, when he took 12 as divisor he obtained 35 as quotient so always the reminder is equal to 0 so the number here he obtained is equals to 420 but the number 420 is correct but instead of 12 21 he took 12 as the divisor now the new divisor is equal to 21 we should find the quotient and the remainder is always equal to 0 so quotient is equals to 420 by 21 that is equals to 20 so option d is our correct answer see the next question 3 power 25 plus 3 power 26 plus 3 power 27 plus 3 power 28 is divisible by so i am taking 3 power 25 as common from all these four terms so you will get here 1 26 can be written as 25 plus 1 so here we will get 3 power 1 plus 27 can be written as 25 plus 2 so here you will get 3 power 2 plus 28 can be written as 25 plus 3 so already we took 3 power 25 as common so only remaining is 3 power 3 so that is equal to 3 power 25 into 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27 that is equal to 3 power 25 into 40 now i am splitting this 40 as 4 into 10 and i am rewriting 3 power 25 as 3 into 3 power 24 into 4 into 10 so 10 3s are 30 into 3 power 24 into 4 that means always this number is a multiple of 30 so that means exactly the whole number is divisible by 30 so from the options option d is our correct answer let us see the next question 25 power 25 is divided by 26 the remainder is we have a formula here that is x power n plus a power n is divisible by x plus a when n is odd here 25 is odd so we can rewrite it as 25 power 25 plus 1 power 25 is exactly divisible by 25 plus 1 that is 26 so from that when 25 power 25 is divided by 26 it leaves a remainder 26 minus 1 that is equals to 25 so option d is our correct answer see the next version 1 less than 49 power 15 is exactly divisible by that means 49 power 15 minus 1 is exactly divisible by so we have another rule here that is when n is an even x power n minus a power n is divisible by both x minus a and x plus a so here i am rewriting this 49 power 15 as 49 i am rewriting as 7 square whole power 15 minus 1 that is 7 power 30 minus 1 so here the power is even so when x power n minus x power a is divisible by both x minus a and x plus a so x value is equals to 7 and a value is equals to 1 so 7 minus 1 and 7 plus 1 that is 6 and 8 so this whole number is divisible by 6 and 8 so in from the options option a is correct that is 8 so the number is divisible by 8 see the next problem it is given that 2 power 32 plus 1 is exactly divisible by a certain number which of the following is also definitely divisible by the same number so first we will find out the number which is exactly divisible by this number it is also exactly divisible by the mentioned certain number so first i am treating 2 power 32 plus 1 i am rewriting it as i am considering this 2 power 32 as x so x plus 1 now let us check first the first option 2 power 96 plus 1 now i am writing this 2 power 96 as 3 into 32 plus 1 
So, this 2 power 3 into 32 can be written as 2 power 32 into 3 plus 1. Already we have considered that 2 power 32 is equal to x. So, this is equal to x cube plus 1. We know the formula x cube plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 into x square minus x plus 1. So, this x cube plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 into x square minus x plus 1. That means it is an exact multiple of x plus 1. So, it will be definitely divided by x plus 1 exactly. So, we can say that option A is our correct answer. So, 2 power 96 plus 1 will be exactly divisible by 2 power 32 plus 1 which is exactly divisible by a certain number. So, option A is our correct answer. The numbers 2 power 48 minus 1 is exactly divisible by two numbers between 60 and 70. The numbers are. So, here 2 power 48 minus 1 can be rewritten as 2 power 6 into 8 minus 1. That is 2 power 6 whole power 8 minus 1 which is equals to 64 whole power 8 minus 1. This is of the form of x power n minus a power n. So, we know that when n is even x power n minus a power n is completely divisible by x minus a and x plus a. So, what is the value of x here? It is 64. So, this number is either is completely divisible by both 64 minus 1 and 64 plus 1 that is 63 and 65. I hope you all understood it. Thank you.